Welcome to the video where we showcase a step by step process to install the edge controller to your CN Master device and the ability to add ATXX device um, to them. So in this video we will be covering, uh, this is generally divided into three sections. One would be installation of the edge controller. Uh, second would be the adding of CN Maestro to the edge controller and the third would be adding the devices to the edge controller. Let's start off with the first section. Okay, in the first section we'll be focusing on installation of the edge controller. So we've installed a VMware EXX1 on our server. Uh, we'll have to create a new virtual machine. The virtual machine in this case has to be CentOS. Uh, you click here on the create a new virtual machine and you click next on this one now you will be uh, provided options uh, you will have to name uh, the vm uh, so you can call it centos or centos edge controller um, depending uh, from a compatibility perspective you have to ensure it is based on the esx1 variant um, and also the uh, OS you have to use is Linux and then the uh, OS version is required or I think it's the CentOS 9. Here you have to use data store 1 so you just click that uh, it's a standard option and then here from a G GPU side you have to use 4 uh, memory I think you have to use 8 GB and uh, the, and the hard disk space uh, I think you require is uh, about 50 GB. Uh, more details is provided in the installation guide that we have. I'll, I'll kind of showcase that a little bit in, in the next uh, few few minutes. But um, all the minimum requirements to install this is, is provided over there. And then uh, you can use the uh, data store one from where you would want to install your OS. So in this case, we use the iOS. We go to CentOS and then um, we have to set up the uh, iOS uh, uh, image. From there, you have to kind of load it up. So click that. Uh, go next and then we go to finish Then it may take a minute or so for it to set up and then once you're ready you have to power it on for the first time Right uh, in this case you have to go to <clears throat> install a CentOS variant um, Then it takes a minute or so to load up uh, you click English, go next. Uh, in this case, you have to use the installation destination, which is the default option that we have. And then you choose your uh, 50 GB, which is part of your uh, VM in settings that you had chosen earlier. Uh, in this case you have to go to your root password and change this is for you to allow changes which would be required at a, at a later point in time you can change your root password uh, better to recommend a strong root password in this case okay uh, then now you get into the main installation part this may take a couple of minutes depending on <clears throat> the time but uh, i have to plan in for that Okay. Once it's done, you have to reboot the system so that it comes back online. And then in the next section, we'll be focusing on how to install it and uh, how to uh, configure the uh, scene master to add it to our edge control. Right. Um, so first thing you have to use is your username and uh, you can keep a standard default name. Click next. Uh, you set your password uh, for configuration ensure that matches the previous password and then now you go to CentOS uh, now you have to in now you will you can log in or you have to download the um, installation guide that I touched upon earlier and then from there you have to run a specific command so in this case you go to uh, any browser and in that case you have to go to support.cambiumnetworks.com Okay, 
Um, and so here you go to the download section and you have to download the uh, installation or user guide. You should have been registered before, so it's easier to do, do that. You go scroll down all the way to CN Maestro. And in that, uh, you'd want to download the edge controller variant. So that's the user guide that I was touching upon. So the uh, user guide provides all the specifications on uh, the compatibility, what is the minimum GPU size, CPU size, RAM that's required to install it. So definitely have a look at it um, once you to ensure it matches. So now we go to the edge control installation. You have to copy this uh, or you have to execute this command. So this will uh, uh, copy the uh, package that's required um, to be installed in the CentOS. You copy that and then you go to your terminal and you paste the command and let it run so in this case we are using the cloud variant but you can use a uh, oh, sorry you're going to copy that from the cloud variant uh, with this you have to enter your root password and now it's initializing Um, here you have to enter your CN Maestro server. Uh, in this case, we have it. So you have the 10.17.17.36. .17 um, since it's hosted on the same uh, VM, for us it's the uh, same subnet. But if you have a different one, you can use that. And then you have to click yes for this one. Now it's installing all the packages after successfully so basically now we have installed the edge controller on the centos right so now we are jumping into the second part where we are going to add the edge controller to the cn maestro um to the cn maestro right so this is our uh, cn maestro <coughs> so here uh, for systems we have to go to add a network uh, in this one we are creating a new network we're going to call it ptp 8xx to add any of those devices there okay this is a this is a network that we have now we have to link um, edge controller to this one so for that we go to onboard and then on the tab you see the edge controller um, and then you go to devices or oh, you see the controller and the devices that is mentioned so you have already one that's pending so you have to click the, click on that to make it approve you can name the controller anything but in this case we've chosen the default name so basically now you have successfully approved the edge controller now uh, if you go all the way down to the edge controller option now we have just added it in network services so if you click that variant so now it just gives you the edge controller default options or the edge controller how it is viewed on the CN Maestro currently it's offline and if you just refresh it it becomes online because we have linked it to the uh, CN Maestro account now if you go to uh, configuration there's an option to add new devices to this one. So in this case, uh, you can add or do a discovery of small or oh, of a subnet device. So in this case, we're going to use 10.17.17.1. So that will ensure any of the slash 24. If there's any devices in that subnet, um, it will discover it and then add it to the um, edge controller. Okay. Probably have to refresh a couple of times. can go back to onboard device go to edge controller and in this case uh, <coughs> if you go to devices there are two devices that has been found in that subnet and uh, you have an option to approve it um, 
from the onboard process itself. So you can add it to the ATXX network that we had created earlier. So you approve uh, the first one and you approve the second one as well. Right. Okay. Now we have basically entered the, we have ad entered the third section where you're adding devices to the edge controller. Um, so this is the entire basic process of adding your edge controller, linking your CN master to your edge controller. And the third phase is adding devices to the, um, uh, edge controller. And then you can monitor your entire network using CN master. So if I go back to the main network section <clears throat> and if I just refresh, now you should be able to see uh, the new devices, the point-to-point -point device, ATXX point-to-point -point devices um, that have been uh, 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 shown, the, uh, the new devices that have been added over here. So if I go to ATXX and then uh, refresh, ideally, yeah, we have we have two devices. One is the uh, 850S. You can see the tab in dashboard and configuration. Um, it's online and then uh, you have an option of uh, checking alerts and uh, configuration bar from this option right so this is a quick uh, uh, process on how to install um, uh, all the devices we also have an option of updating software uh, from the cn master itself that is also covered uh, in a different in the user guide as well but uh, the idea is to showcase on a high level what the